What's going on everybody? Welcome to episode number 41 of the Hardcore Group Ironman series. In the end of the last video, I picked myself up a Greater Demon Task, so that's what I'm going to be starting with. And I'm still currently training my defense, so I'm going to get that up to level 95. And then I'm going to use my whip to get all the way to 99 attack. Uh, other than doing Slayer, there's really no plans for this video. We might end up doing another PVM trip to Bandos or Zami later on, but we haven't really planned it out yet. It's already been a while since I saw you guys in the last clip. I've gained 100,000 Slayer XP. And like I keep saying, I am trying my best to stay consistent with these birdhouse runs. There's level 87. Two more levels left to go until I can start using the redwoods for my birdhouse runs. I also picked myself up a Dagonoth task, and I'm only 65k away from a range level, so I might end up getting that level really soon. Oh, one more thing here too, I forgot to mention, I was going to do this in the last video, but instead of showing you guys the clips of me getting these medium clues and then doing them afterwards, I'm just going to stack up every single medium clue uh, reward casket that I get and open them all at the end of the video. I think it'll be pretty interesting to do. I currently have three and this is going to be the fourth one. Along with this range level, there is also something that I want to share to you guys. Um, but really quick, I only have 8,700 rune bolts left. And uh, yeah, there's no way that's going to be enough to get me to 99. I don't know if this task is going to be that good using like broad arrows, but... I mean, when it comes to that point, I'll have to test it. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and drag my screen over here. Uh, you guys have been asking me a lot what I'm doing on my Ultimate Iron Man, and uh, I'm still playing it. I started playing it again about two to three weeks ago. I'm going to be maxing this on the side uh, as I'm playing my group Iron Man. These are what the stats are looking like on it. Right now, I'm trying to AFK level 97 woodcutting from Redwoods, and from there, I'll go and finish construction, but it's still going to be a pretty long grind. It's going to take me like a month and a half to finish. Another Abyssal Demon task, nothing new here. There is whip number 23. Okay, so I have gained a total of 200,000 Slayer XP so far, and I need to take a little bit of a break from it here, and the reason I need to take a break is because I only really have seven Prey Pots left. I've burned through all my Super Restores as well, and on top of that, I don't really have any Super Combats left either. So what I'm going to be doing here is taking the 1,000 Snapdragons that I have and collecting the Red Spider Eggs to make these into more Super Restores so I can continue slaying. What's nice about the 1,000 too is that will push me up to level 86, and I can do a plus 4 boost to be able to make myself some more Super Combat Potions, so uh, the only problem is uh, collecting these Red Spider Eggs is kind of a pain. I only have 61 of them, and it, from what I can remember, it's about 600 or something per hour, so it's going to take me like an hour and a half to do. There we go, the 1,000 spider eggs that I need. It ended up taking a little bit over an hour to get that many, but I'm going to go ahead and make all of these, and I'll see you guys back once I am about to hit 86. And there is the level 86. I still have about 20 or so of these to make. So since I have 1,000 3 doses, when I change them into 4 doses, it'll be 750, which is honestly maybe even enough to get me all the way to 99 Slayer. But now that I am the 86, I can use these botanical pies that I have to do a plus 4 boost and make a bunch of super combats. I have a total of about 200 or so torsals right now, and uh, I have enough pots to make all of these. Making these, though, is an absolute pain since you have to line all the potions up in your inventory every single time. Nice little 175k more herb XP gained there. And now I have the 210 super combats and the 750 restores. I'm going to head back and continue doing Slayer now. I decided as well that I'm going to be stopping at level 96 and probably going doing some like mining, smithing, and fishing, and maybe a few other skills. I've done like I think four or five videos in a row of Slayer, and I wanted to give you guys sort of a little break from that since the content's been the same for the most part. So uh, it's going to be like two more days of Slayer, and then I'll be moving on. And on my first task back to Slayer, there is 95 defense. I'm going to be switching to training on attack now, like I mentioned before, all the way up until level 99. So now that I got that level, I am pretty far away from literally every single level. So I am really not sure when I'll do another update. It's been a really long time since the last clip. I was at, I believe, around 210,000 XP gained, and now I'm at 400,000. So almost double the amount of XP so far. And I'm also about 276k off of level 96 Slayer. And 449 tasks in a row, time to head over to Konar. 141 Fire Giants in the Brimhaven Dungeon. I, I kind of have to do this because I just skipped two tasks from her and I really don't want to waste too many more points. 
Well, that task was absolutely awful, but 270 more points, which gets me back up to around 1,000, which is really, really helpful because I have been getting some very bad tasks. Over my entire account so far, these are by far uh, the, my favorite levels to get. There is 93 prayer. And another thing I wanted to show you guys that I haven't really shown yet is I also have 331k prayer XP banked in these unsold heads. This is counting about 80 or so dragon bones as well, but it's still well over 300k, and that's enough to get me almost like halfway from 93 to 94, so it's definitely adding up. And that is a level 96 attack. I wanted to mention something with these gargoyles. This task really is not worth doing anymore since a new blood rune method was added. I don't know how many of you guys have looked into that at all, but you can make like 8,000 blood runes an hour, and that's like 1.6 million coins an hour. And so it really doesn't make sense to do this task. The only reason I'm doing it is because I skipped 10 tasks in a row. And this was the task I ended up with. I really don't want to waste too many points. And another whip to the collection. There is number 24. Uh, so here's a absolutely crazy <laughs> drop for you guys. Um, I looked up in my chat and I noticed this. And I thought it was from multiple chests. This guy got a crystal armor seed, a crystal weapon seed, and an enhanced crystal weapon seed all in the same chest. Which apparently is a 1 in 1 million drop chance. So a massive congrats to this guy. Okay guys, another 677k Slayer XP gain this video and there is level 96 Slayer. Like I said, I am going to be stopping here and moving on to doing a little bit of skill hopping just to change the content up a little bit. Also on the left side of the screen here, I am 37% away from another attack level and 38% away from another defense level. I'm going to try to make like a list of things I want to do, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be starting with smithing. Some really good timing on this level, I literally just hit 96 layer before I did this herb run, and on the third patch, there's 95 farming. With these levels, I probably won't be getting another farming level for like another three weeks to a month. Uh, I got myself a little list made, and I'm gonna be going probably for 80 to 85 smithing. I'm really close to 2100 total, and I want to hit that um, as soon as I can. And 80 to 85 smithing, I can probably do in a day, it's gonna depend on how much ore is available in the shops. Another thing here, before I go and move on to doing that, I have nine medium clues that I've stacked up from my Dagonoth tasks. So let's go ahead and open these, and hopefully I get incredibly lucky and get some Ranger Boots. Uh, pretty bad so far. Only three more left to go, it's not looking too good. And there is the final one, 16 total medium clues completed. When it comes to grinding to max, there is very few things I hate more than mining. Uh, but smithing is definitely up there. Buying gold ore is pretty awful. Uh, I did the math here, and I'm going to need a total of 23,000 gold ore to get from 80 to 85. I have 1,000 from doing gargoyles, so 24,000. I can buy that easily in about three hours if these worlds are empty. I'm doing it at a really weird time just for that, so we'll see how this goes. I'm starting off with a 46 mil cash stack, and that is going to go down a lot from this grind. So I got the 23,000 gold order that I need. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of math before I start using these, so uh, it ended up costing me 353 GP for each of them and that is gonna be about 6.3 GP per XP. Also, the stock in the shop here, I'm pretty sure that it's only group Iron Man. Like, we don't share stock with anybody else. If you're an Iron Man, you share stock with Hardcore's Ultimates, but as for group Iron Man, I'm pretty sure we have our own stock, meaning that, um, you know, not many people are playing the game mode anymore, so every single world I went through was full except for like one of them, which made buying this really not too bad. It was about 8,000 per hour, so it took me a little bit less than three hours to get all of it. Okay, I explained how to do this in another video, but it's been months since I've done smithing, so I'll explain it again for those of you that didn't see it. Essentially, this method allows you to make bars without stopping at the dispenser to collect them, and you'll see that on the screen my character never stops running. So first off, you want to make sure that you have 27 bars already in the dispenser, and then you're going to want to place a tile marker to the east like I have on my screen. So explaining this is kind of tricky. The way I learned it was just watching someone do it, and I tried to imitate them until it eventually worked. It took me about 30 minutes to get the hang of it. So once you put the ore on the belt, you want to switch to your ice gloves and then click on the eastern tile. Then when you're a little bit away from the dispenser, you want to click on it and press your one key to collect the bars and very quickly right after you press your one key, click on the eastern tile again and that way you'll collect your bars and you'll continue running. Like I said, it's a little bit confusing and hard to explain. If you watch it enough and keep practicing, you'll definitely be able to do it and it's going to be increasing your XP rate by a lot. 
There's 81 smithing, and as you can tell from the top left, I am averaging about 383k XP per hour over around a half an hour. You can definitely hit 390k XP per hour if you make zero mistakes and really don't miss too many ticks, but if you're paying, I guess, above average attention to it, you can easily hold over 380k XP per hour. And there is a level 82 smithing. And level 83, I'm now only one level away from reaching 2100 total. Alright guys, 960k smithing XP gain so far, and this is about to be a really big level for the account. 2100 total level on top of 84 smithing. I still have one more level left to go here, 300k XP, it's going to be a little bit under an hour. Uh, another huge milestone on the account. Quick little grind out of the way, there is the 85 smithing. So next up here, I want to go and do fishing. I really want to finish paying off Alkin's Karam ones, so I just don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright, this is going to be my home for the next probably around 10 or so hours I need to pay back Alkin 6,000 Karambon and I'm going to be getting about 600 per hour. I am also starting out pretty close to a level. I'm 60% between 85 and 86 and that is a level 86 fishing. It has been about four or so hours and I'm almost halfway to the 6k. I'm not going to be able to fully finish this in this video though. It's four o'clock in the morning and I want to upload this video uh, at a decent time for you guys, so I am going to be ending the video here. I'll show you guys all of the stats on the screen. So the goals for the next video, I want to finish out the Karambons, and then I have to decide between if I want to level up Mining or Agility. I really want to get to the Arty course, so I can start getting some Marks of Grace for all of the super energies that I have in my bank. But yeah, per usual, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in about another week for the next one.